because uh, I am uh, on a sick leave because I caught the flu. <laughs> so, oh no! So you thought that you'd pop into class? Yeah. So, and, uh, sorry, I, sorry I, here. Yeah, I can join all, all the class till next Friday because uh -huh. uh, I will be at home. <clears throat> uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry you're feeling so. Yeah, so bad that it happens. <laughs> yeah, sorry for my uh, voice. <laughs> that's okay. And if you, if you, well, this class will be fairly easy because it's a, a, a vocabulary class, so there won't be any reading or anything like that. So, so how is your job? Uh, Doing okay? Horrible. No, uh, it is, no, it is horrible because uh, I, <clears throat> I, I uh, didn't get any training, so it is. Uh, oh. It is, it, it is very difficult to implement uh, everything, so yeah. and, uh, I, 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 and uh, I couldn't get any uh, any help uh, uh, mm -hmm. from my uh, colleague. So I am looking for another job, and yeah. I uh, and uh, I uh, and uh, I I will have uh, another two uh, job interview mm -hmm. uh, on next uh, <clears throat> Monday and uh, on next uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah. I I had a job one a time. I, I I lasted ten days. Um, it was with a company very similar. It was a, a company that actually is a competitor of Verbling, mm -hmm. and I and I wasn't a t I wasn't a trainer. I was going to be the account manager, mm -hmm. and um, but I was receiving no training and. Um, the end of my shift, they. He called me in and want me to do work for three or four more hours. I went, no, that's not gonna, that isn't the way it's gonna happen. <laughs> so, so I, I, it, it, I, it is horrible and uh, it is uh, not possible to impl implement uh, something without training. Uh, exactly. At, at, Even, at, at, at any, at any workplace. So. Mm -hmm. And even if you have the job, I mean, even if you are very well qualified for the job, you still need training on that company's corporate corporate culture. Yeah. Things like that. So. Training is is crucial uh, to mm -hmm. the uh, in 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 the workplace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it, totally. It, it is the situation at the moment, and uh, I am looking for another job. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it's it's it'll be easier to get one now that you have one though, so that's good. So, hi Ismail, how are you th this morning? Let's see. Hello Ismail, can you speak? Hello, Holly. Hi. This hi. is uh, this is. This is interesting for me. I know it's. Uh, I I know for you the last time I saw you was yesterday, but for me it was the same day. <laughs> so <laughs> it is. It is still Thursday here. So I. It's interest. I've never. I rarely see you twice in one day. So this is great. <laughs> so. Yeah, but because I I think that was at your your eleven o'clock class or right eleven at night right before you went to bed. Yeah. So. <laughs> So, how are you doing this morning? Actually, I I try to uh, sleep off or try to sleep in. No, I try to wake up. Uh huh. It is too early, uh, holy for me. It is uh, just about eight o'clock. Uh huh. I I couldn't wake up early. Yeah. Generally, and that's why uh, I am a little sleepy <laughs> in the I, early morning. I totally understand. <laughs> I um, for when I was when I first started at Verbling and I was honeymooning. You guys know when you first have a job and it's really and you're really liking it. It's called uh, when you first do anything new. It's called to honeymoon. Um. <laughs> Okay, it's kind of you know right, and w so when I was honeymooning, I was teaching any any hour that w was an open hour because uh, because I was so excited about it. But after a while, <laughs> I I realized there's no way I could teach at Verbling between 4 a.m. and 12 noon my time because. <laughs> 
because I am not a morning person. So, so Ken, are you a morning person, or I think you're a night owl, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a night owl. Yeah, because because I think I, I realized uh, you had just popped into one of my classes earlier today, and it was mm -hmm. my noon class, which mm -hmm. would have been three in the morning for you. Was it in the middle uh, of the night? I think. Yes. Yeah, and I didn't even realize it until after I was. I went, wait a minute, shouldn't he be in bed? <laughs> so. so. That was fun. All right. Well, th this class is going to be actually a vocabulary class, and we will be looking at different vocabulary words and um, seeing how much we know and, and, and so forth. Um, animals, um, a lot of these will be zoo animals <coughs> and, and so forth, and it, it should be a, a fairly fun topic. Um, so I, I do want to write down, there's, there's one word that I always forget. Does everybody know what this word this this animal is? I, I wrote it in the verbling chat. Does anybody know what that is? Sloth. Yeah. Oh. This is an animal apparently that is really really common in South America. And it's it's called a sloth. We call it lazy. Yeah, sloth is an. <laughs> what's interesting about it is sloth. And another word for sloth is lazy. And I did not know until I was teaching this lesson about three or four months ago. With um, it was during my evening, so you guys have all would have been asleep. Um, with some people from South America, and they were like, and so they 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 were trying to describe this animal, and then then they were telling me about the sloth, and um, and I was like, and I I always thought that sloth meant lazy. So hi, Carlos. Hi, Holly. Hi. Now, are you from Colombia? Where are you from? Argentina. Argentina. Okay. Do you guys have sloths in Ar Argentina? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe, um, maybe in the north, but I don't think so. Okay, because they're very common apparently in Colombia, and um, but yeah, this was this lesson helped me learn about this 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 uh, animal <laughs> uh, several months ago. It was my new word. Didn't even know it existed. So. Um, all right. Hi. Um, good morning, Arathelli. How are you this morning? Hello. Good night, Holly. How are you? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good I'm night. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Good night won't be till right before we leave, because that's when um, uh, when I'll be heading to bed. Because usually you say good night before a person goes to bed. However, uh, any time during the night or evening, um, you would say good evening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even though it's eleven at night for me, it would still be. It, Evening, Beate. So you're not going to going to work, or <laughs> I have to go to work later. Now, actually, I'm waiting for an online student, but he didn't show up yet. So, oh. uh, yeah, uh, if, if he if comes, he I will close. If not, I will take part on the last. I understand. Been, been there, done that. So, <laughs> so <laughs> late late uh, late person has arrived. Everybody, this is Beate. She is actually a German online German teacher, and she lives in. Greece, but she's from Germany, and uh, Beate, we have um, uh, Ken, who you know from Japan, we have Araceli, who is a, a math teacher in Spain, and then Carlos from Argentina, and um, Ismail from Turkey, Turkey. and Cornell, I'm, I'm like forgetting everybody. Cornell from Hungary in this class. So, and and so Beate just started taking my classes a few weeks ago, or last week, I guess, right? So yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm also maths teacher. <laughs> uh, yeah, you teach a yeah, lot. Yeah, I studied <laughs> maths. I studied maths, but now it was um, easier to find a job as a German teacher. That's the reason. Ah, okay. When you moved to to Greece. Yeah. Do you can I can I ask a question to Beate? Uh -huh. Do you do you teach uh, people that know absolutely not uh, know 
like yeah, yeah, of course. Nothing at all of German. Yeah. Of course, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can find me on Webling also. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't realize she taught on Verbling. I pressed on her link and I went, wait, she's a Verbling teacher, so I'm following her. And um, <laughs> so I might actually, I, I, I've studied German for, I've taken like four or five online German classes and I thought maybe I should start again. <laughs> so oh. I'm thinking about it. But then I'm thinking Spanish might be better and then, I think no, I need to finish. Finish. <laughs> so who knows? Uh, let's go on. So let's okay. think about these animals. Um, classify them animals. Where can you typically find the following animals? Let's put them into the correct categories below. So Ken, could you choose one of these words and uh, choose the correct category? Okay. E uh Cow, a cow on a farm. A cow on a farm, okay. Now, Ken, have you ever had the opportunity to milk a cow? Uh, never. Never, okay. All right. RFL, yeah, apparently it's not, but I had the opportunity when I was seven, and I was too scared to touch it because it looked kind of gross. <laughs> so, so uh, Aratheli, can, can you choose one of these words? Um, a whale? It's in the sea. In the sea, okay. Question for you, Aratheli. Have you ever eaten a whale? No, <laughs> no never. Ever. That's a really appropriate question for Ken, because it, it's very popular in Japanese. And oh, he, he didn't leave because of that, but he's have been having internet problems all morning. So, or yes. all. So. I, I know that, or maybe in China or Japan, they like have a whale soup or something like that. Mm -hmm. what? Whaling is a big industry there, I think. Yes, so. I I never tried that. Mm -hmm. It would yeah. be interesting, but. I, I didn't have the opportunity. Yeah, okay. All right, and um, Beate, can you choose a, uh, uh, an animal? Okay, a crab uh, is in the sea. Okay, and do you enjoy eating crabs? Yes, very much. <laughs> and <laughs> and it's, uh, a good thing is that they are uh, quite cheap here in Greece. Are they really cheap? Okay. Yes. They're yeah. they're is that because they're near the sea? Yes. Okay. No. Not not so cheap, but much cheaper than in Germany. Mhm. Mm okay. Right. All right. And Carlos, could you choose one? Uh, octopus in the sea. Okay. Octopus in the sea. And have you eaten octopus? Yes, many times. And it, it, did you like it? Do you like yeah, it? Well, many times. So, is it is it a common uh, delicacy or food in Argentina? It is common, but it's quite expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because, uh, because the octopus, uh, I don't, we don't have too, too many octopus in the sea, in the sea here. So, mm -hmm. I think we have to import. I like I like the span uh, cooked cooked in a Spanish way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've had it at a Spanish restaurant as well, and we call it uh, in English because it's a, a type of food that's rare, and you can't find it everywhere. We would call it a delicacy. Mm -hmm. So. All right, and um, um, Ismail, can you choose one? A fly in your home garden. Okay, so do you have uh, fly problems in Turkey during any seasons, or are they there all the time? Or yes, especially in countryside, you can encounter many different type of fly in mm -hmm. summer and in spring time. Mm -hmm. only. In spring. Okay, yeah. In the, in Idaho here, summer and fall, we have a lot of flies all over. So, and we will, it's a fly, and then for uh, plural, we would say flies. 
So mm. we do, we do, we do uh, add an S for that. So, all right, Cornell, can you choose a word? A B? Mm-hmm. God done one home. Okay. And Cornell, um, have you ever had a bee sting? Not yet. No, not yet? Yeah. Okay. I've heard they hurt. <laughs> so a bee sting. So, okay. Um, uh, RFLE, can you choose another word? A pig, it will be in a farm. On a farm. On a farm, okay. And um, oh. I have heard that pigs are not really all that dirty. Is that? Would you say that's true? Mm? Um, yeah, it well, is true. Yeah. It is true that they are. Well, I don't know. I I have seen them in, and the, how do you call the the place they keep them? They are really dirty there. How do you say? Oh, really? Um, uh, we call that we would call that a pig pen. They are really dirty in the pig pens. Yes, I think so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I think they used the the that dirt uh, to avoid the mosquito the mosquitoes. The elephants and the rhinos do the same. I think. Oh really? So the the dirt and and stuff like that causes the mosquitoes and flies to come, but it isn't really the pigs? Yeah, they put in the skin, so the mosquito can't, can't bite them. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Um, this is something that is starting to become really popular in the States. People are uh, buying miniature pigs as pets. And I have a colleague that is a former colleague that is I just I absolutely wants one. Have you guys heard about these? Not yet. It is very interesting for me, and uh, in in Hungary. Yeah. They are yeah. cute. They are. They're just adorable. Yeah, pig as a pet. <laughs> But I mean, I know George George Clooney has a you know a pet pig like this, you know. But I know, I'm not sure I'd ever want a big pig, but a small little one maybe. <laughs> so, but they're called they call they're called mini pigs, a mini pig. So, all right, um, all right. So, uh, Carlos, could you choose a word? Uh, monkey. In the jungle. Okay. And have you ever um, seen a monkey outside of a, a zoo? Um, yes. Because is, is, is Argentina near a jungle? I mean, do you live near a jungle at all? No. No. Only uh, we, we have jungle, yes, but in the northeast. Okay. Not near you. No, no. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, Ismail, can you choose a word? A sheep on a farm. Okay. A, a question. Lives. On a sh on a farm. Now, question for you: Are sheep as stupid as they say they are? Have I you heard have that? I've never heard before. Only. Oh really? Uh, yes. I've heard uh, that sheep. Sheep will follow bl blindly follow whoever is yeah, in front of them. Ah uh, yes, uh, we have the uh, same idea. Uh, we use uh, when people uh, follow uh, some ugly or uh, some uh, dirty politician. Mhm, mm mhm. Yeah. <laughs> so when they're not, they uh, blindly follow like sheep. So. Uh, uh, what did you say? Araceli, I think you wrote something, right? Some humans do the same, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of the, the point. <laughs> yes, uh, we, we usually say they behave like sheep because they follow someone and no, they don't, wa they don't wonder, they don't make their own decisions. Uh -huh. so human maybe. nature uh, okay. uh, is similar sheep nature, maybe. Yeah, in English, uh, a black sheep for us is a black sheep is the one that doesn't follow. 
uh, doesn't follow black the sheep. crowd and and so forth, so forth. The black sheep, of the, like we say, we yeah, say, sheep, well, he's yeah. the black sheep of the family. Yeah. The black, the black sheep is the family member who is not like anyone else. They're the rebel. They're the they're the ones that didn't do what mom and dad told them to do. <laughs> so. Well, I think that's because black stands out in the yeah. middle of the white sheep, <laughs> rather yeah. than he doesn't follow the the rest. Maybe I don't know. exactly. Exactly. So, of course, in my family, we've got five of us. I think all five of us would consider ourselves the black sheep. So, <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Cornell, uh, can you choose a word? Yeah, a gorilla in the jungle. And, the, uh, and have you seen a, gr a gorilla by any chance ever? Uh, I haven't seen uh, mm -hmm. the gorilla, but uh, I watched a very interesting uh uh, documentary film uh, in Nas National Geographic or, or something like that uh, about a gorilla which uh, okay. which uh, has a, a sci scientist uh, center in, in US and it was a gorilla <coughs> and uh, uh, gorilla has a, a similar way uh, sim similar way uh, than the human uh, in the center. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he, 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 uh, uh, they, they were very, very clever and smart. Oh, were they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, there, there was a picture table, and the gorilla uh, could pick some, some picture about, uh, uh, about uh, if, uh, if uh, they are, uh, mm, uh, uh, they would, would like to eat or, or something like that, something hmm. like that. Yeah. Hmm. It, it, for some reason, what you just said reminded me of the show from back in the 60s or 70s. Did any of you guys ever see? Oh, hi! Welcome back, Ken. Ever see the movie? It's either a movie or a TV show, Planet of the Apes. Yes, I, I see it. I've seen. I've, it. I've never yeah, seen see, it. Yeah, two, two different versions of the movie. I saw them. The one is quite, quite new, eh? Oh, is there a new one too? Okay, yeah. I've never seen either version, <laughs> so. I don't think new. Ver I think the new one is a movie version, right? Not a TV version. Possibly, possibly. Yeah. So, uh, Carlos, do you know much about the new one? Is it yeah, a TV it, or? Yeah, it, it, it's good. No, it's a TV. It's a it, it's a movie. It is a movie. Okay. It's really really well done. How the, the apes uh, talk and uh, one of the lead is the leader and they fight against. They the humans. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, uh, Ken, can you choose one of these, the last two, and tell us where you, where you would put this? Okay. Uh, an elephant could be in a jungle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And have you ever had a chance to ride an elephant? I, I've touched the elephant, not ride the elephant. Okay. He, it has a kind of very brush-like, stiff, stiff uh, hair. R really? And so yeah. it's, it's it has stiff, a hair. It really. Uh, I for some reason I, thought it was kind of baldish, but it's it's hairy. Oh uh, yes. Uh, but if you approach, you can see the short uh, hair or far, far. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, randomly. It is very stiff, like like spring or. Yeah, right. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. All right. So where everybody, where would we put a spider? Home or of garden. Yeah, a, a spider goes in my home. <laughs> it's like, like where I'm living. They have. Right now I'm house sitting and I don't see any spiders. But where I live, uh, in that in that town, there's spiders all over the place. It's like wow. <laughs> So, Sp spy spider comes the fortune. Spiders what? S spider comes. Uh, or fortune. Not comes bring. Uh, bring brings, fortune. Uh, yeah, for fortune. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to tell that to my nephews and nieces when they're complaining about there's a spider, there's a spider. They won't go into the bathroom because there's a spider, you know. <laughs> so, um, 
All right, in the wild, in pairs, let's, all right, not in pairs, in, in as a group, let's name the animals in the pictures below using a dictionary if necessary. So what would number um, one be, uh, Ken? Number one, uh, I forgot about the, the tie, tie. TH sound? I'm sure. I forgot TH? this name. Thai or something? No. Ah, hippo, hippo, hippo. No. Number one, I forgot. Okay, does anybody know what number one would be? Rhino? Rhinoceros. Yes. Rhinoceros. Oh. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Short, in, 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 basically, in short, we actually say I just a rhino. Like uh, what? Um, uh, are there rhinos in Turkey, or where are t rhinos located? Uh, we don't have uh, rhinos in Turkey, actually. Okay. Uh, no, they, I think uh, rhinos uh, live in Africa. Yeah. Okay. Where's Bakri when we need him? He's from Sudan. <laughs> Okay, um, Arthelie, can you choose? Oh, oh not choose. Can, what is uh, number two? Uh, what is that called in English? Arthel, okay. A giraffe. Giraffe, yes. Okay, and then number three, um, Carlos. Ostrich. Ostrich, yes. And then number four is mill. Number four, parrot? Yes, a parrot. Okay. Do any of you guys have a parrot by any chance? I've heard that they live a long time and they're actually good, pe good pets if you like birds. <laughs> so, um, number five, um, Cornell, what would that be? Uh, zebra. A zebra. So we would say Z, zebra. zebra. Number six, what is that? Um, Ken? A lion. A lion, okay. And then number seven is what, Araceli? A snake. A snake. Do any of you guys have any personal experience with any of these animals? Well, not really, but I have heard of some people who keep uh, snakes as pets, and <laughs> I think it's really disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I, yeah. They, they eat uh, mice alive, so they have to feed them uh, live uh, mice. So like, live for mice. This, like, yes, so it's really, it's a very strange as yeah. a pet, but I hear some people like it. Uh. Okay. Anybody else have any personal experience or have heard anything about any of these animals? I was a uh, ostrich uh, form. Um, ostrich? It, yeah, yeah, ostrich. Uh, seven or eight uh, years ago. Uh, it was a team building and uh, we uh, visited the uh, ostrich form. It was very interesting because uh, ostrich uh, uh, is a uh, very huge animal. Mm hmm yeah, um, I've seen them on what do, what do you call it um, in, in zoos and things like that. And <laughs> so uh, I I think those of you who know me know that I'm my big fear is birds. So ostriches um, and me, I I stay away from them. So so anything else? Any of the other? Uh, Ismail, do you have any personal experience, or do you know about any of these? animals? Uh, actually, I grew up in a small fishing village and uh, our village uh, was on an island. Uh, there are many uh, lake uh, snakes around us uh, when we were swimming in the lake. Really? Yes. And did uh, they no leave way. you alone? Uh, they, are, they are not uh, poisonous and they mm -hmm. usually 
uh, run away uh, from us when we mm -hmm. uh, were swimming in the lake. Wow. I I still I think like Arthelia I still would be scared. <laughs> so, but if I get I guess if I was raised with it like you were, it would probably be no problem. So. Yeah, you get used to it uh, when you uh, see everywhere. Hmm. And after a while. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. No. Are they big or are they smaller snakes? Uh, they are uh, not so big. They are uh, smaller. Uh, like snakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carlos, do you have any personal experience with any of these, or do you know much about any of these animals? No, but I know a guy that uh, works in a zoo, and um, when he's near the, the place where the lions and the tigers are, they, they poor because they raise them, and they, they know him they, since they were uh, little. I think that, that is amazing. So what do they do? They pull. They, pull is the verb. Like the sound that the felines do, like the cat. They Oh, they roar? No. I, I checked the word. is pull. P-U-R-R. P -U -R -R. Purr. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Purr, like cats do. Purr. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So what I heard That's was poor. I, like, I heard poor, and I didn't understand. Uh, so purr. Oh, so, so, so when they see him, they start to purr because, um, because they like him. yeah, and that's okay. their way of, of showing satisfaction. Wow, that's really yeah. neat. Yes. Yeah. Right, and, and Ken, do you have anything to say about any of these? Mm, have you yeah. heard anything? Most of the I've seen it on the zoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I didn't touch it. <laughs> uh -huh. and, yeah, I just observe uh, mm -hmm. these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you uh, you've seen most of these animals at a zoo instead of at on a zoo. zoo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> at a zoo or at the zoo, depending. Um, yeah. yeah. So excellent. All right, let's go on. Predator and prey. So match the following predators with their typical prey. So what is a predator and what is a prey? Anyone know? Hunter and um Hunt? <laughs> yeah, basically it's, uh, I like that, a hunter and uh, the hunted. <laughs> the hunted, yeah, very good. <laughs> or the hunter and the eater. <laughs> so, um, All right, so Ken, can you choose one of these? Okay. What uh, for the first small fish? Ah, predator and prey. Okay. Uh, spider, butterfly. Spider and a butterfly. I don't think that's right. Let me check, though. Um, yeah, you are right. <laughs> A, sp a spider and a butterfly. I didn't know this. That spiders eat butterflies. Yeah, spiders yes. eat insects. <clears throat> spider. Uh, of course, yeah. The spider webs. Yeah, yeah. They're we the spider web. They take. Yes, web. Spider yeah. web. And butterflies catch this web and get caught in the. Yeah, they get, the butterfly gets caught in the spider web and. And then, then it gets okay. I I wasn't even thinking that way. I was like, how you know, butterflies are bigger than spiders. <laughs> so, um, Aratheli. Uh, for example, a uh, a wolf would eat uh, maybe a goat. Okay, a a wolf. A wolf. A wolf. Okay, a wolf will eat a, not a goat. No, <laughs> a rabbit. Then. Yes, will eat a rabbit. But it can eat a goat. Either. What do you guys think? Can a wolf eat a, a, a goat? It's possible. Uh, yes. Maybe many wolves can eat a goat. Yes. Yeah. 
the the handy bags so they can hunt very big animals like deers or mm -hmm. very big animals. Yeah, when they they're hunting together, definitely. I I agree with you. Okay, now, Carlos, can you choose one of these? Yeah, the leopard, a zebra. Okay, a leopard. Leopard. A, a leopard zebra. would be the zebra. And according to this, it's a different answer. It would be a leopard, a leopard and a goat. But um, it is possible. It is possible, definitely, that a leopard eat a zebra. Yeah, I think it's possible. I mean, don't you guys agree? Because leopards also. Uh, they're so fast that they could possibly eat a, a zebra as well, or catch a zebra. I think it's possible, but I, in th this in this exercise, the answer was a leopard and a goat. A crocodile so. eat a zebra. A crocodile, yes, that's that was the answer here. The, the crocodile eats the zebra. So, and Cornell, can you choose one? It seems. Um uh, that uh, it is mixed because uh, an eagle, what is the pair of eagle? Eagle is a bird. Is it the big bird? The king of bird. Yeah. Yeah, eagle. Yeah, okay. Uh, mouse. Yeah, an eagle eats. Well, the eagle also will go in and, and take fish as well. Yes. Um, but this answer, and this one, it's a mouse. But they'll all, I've heard, I've heard about eagles going in and taking fish, and you know, and it, it's it's amazing. And then of course a dolphin. That all dolphins eat are fishes, are small fishes, of course. So, but yeah, so I think there's a little bit of variation in some of these. <laughs> so. Um, okay, so what wild animals do you have in your country? Are there any endangered species? What unusual animals do people sometimes keep as pets? So Cornell, um, the eagle has landed. Obama has landed. <laughs> it, it is a second world war for you. <laughs> so, um, so uh, Cornell, um, it, what about uh, Hungary? What are, uh, wild animals do you have in Hungary? Yeah, uh, there are wolf, eagle, spider, and mm -hmm. uh, that's all. Wolves, eagles, and spiders? Are yes. they are any of them endangered? Uh, more or less, more or less. And, mm -hmm. and, and the rest uh, we, we can see in the zoo. <laughs> okay. Okay, um, and are there any unusual animals people keep as pets? Sorry. Are there any unusual animals that people keep as pets? Pets. Um, For example, like the mini pigs that I was showing you. That's yeah. something that's really common in my country. Regarding uh, pigs, uh, it is not common in Hungary, as I uh -huh. mentioned before. Mm, some small uh, pets like uh, I I I I, 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 uh, I can can't uh, mm, how to say in, in English uh, I can use a, a dictionary like hamster yeah okay so small small so the, but nothing really unusual so okay all right Ismail how about turkey. What are some um, I know, wild animals Turkey has? Uh, we have uh, wolves, spiders, eagles, and uh, an insect species, Anatolian leopard. Oh, really? So a specific yes. kind of leopard? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, specific species which is belong to 
our country or Anatolian. And but it's it when it is uh, an instinct. Mm -hmm. See a leopard from Turkey. Let me let me see if I can see if I can find a picture. Uh, is this it? I can, I can find uh, share a link. Is this do is this correct? Yes, I think. Yes, it is correct. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why they have these. <laughs> so, um, uh, the, the, uh, he's a bear. The tank has the same name. That's why maybe. Uh, oh, is that why? Out. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, is, is there any leopard uh, in the nature in Turkey? He no. said, "Is it extinct now, though? Yes. Or yes. is it, it or is an, uh, uh, extinct? Endangered? Are they the, in, extinct no. or endangered? Uh, Holly, uh, it haven't uh, observed uh, since thirty years in mm -hmm. Turkey. Okay, so it hasn't been in Turkey for thirty years. Wow. Yes. Okay." All right, Carlos. How about Argentina? What are some wild animals from Argentina? Cougars, ant eaters, armadillos. What? What is uh, it? Armadillos, I think. Oh, armadillos. armadillos. Oh, I have a lot more, but I don't remember all, all, all the rest. And I spelled that wrong. Armadillos. Oh now, what are armadillos like? Because um, there's definitely specific to your country or to your part of the world. Are yeah, they? Well, they have a tail. They have four legs. They are small, and they have like a, a very uh, tough skin. Mm -hmm. like okay. Similar to a, a turtle. Uh huh. Way. Yeah, it varies in the shape, but yeah, that one. Are they used as pets at all, or anything like that, or? No, no. But some people eat, eat them. Mhm. Mm because it's funny, because when I think of the word ar armadillo, I think of um, the movie. I don't know. Ju the, it was a Julia Roberts movie that was made in the in the late '90s. No, in the early '90s, late '80s, early '90s, where they had an armadillo wedding cake. <laughs> so that's about all I know about it. So, anyway, hi Alejandro, how are you? And you? Very good. We can't hear you very well. If you could increase your volume, that would be good. We can see you great. So, and where are you from, Alejandro? I am from Mexico. Mexico, excellent. Excellent. All right. Um, RFLE, um, what about Spain? What are some uh, wild animals you guys have in Spain? Well, we we have some wolves. For example, my my daughter was yesterday on a trip with her class, and they saw in the to the mountains they saw some wild goats. So she she enjoyed uh -huh. that a lot. Mm -hmm. They were fighting in the, the mountains with their really with their horns, yes. And uh -huh. I think the most special animal we have wild well, animal we have here is bears. Are bears. Uh -huh. We have like a special kind of birds, and but we have fewer, few, very few of them because uh, they are endangered and mm -hmm. they are protected. But maybe we have like 30, 50, something like that, and they, all of them are unmarked, and the the biologists know where they are traveling because they they mm -hmm. got this kind of devices on them to to follow mm -hmm. the animals. Mm -hmm. And they are taking care of because they are really the the Spanish species mm -hmm. is like an endemic spe species is similar but not the same to others in Europe. Okay, so, so it's very bears, important. Bears from Spain. Let me look at it. <laughs> yeah, they are brown and not very big. I think in the in America you have very big bears. Ours are uh -huh. not so big. <laughs> so yours are like more like this. Yes, they are called uh, yes brown bear, also part of Spanish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so and they're endangered in Spain. Yeah. Yes. 
Oh, they're cute. It's cute. <laughs> so, all right. Excellent. Thank you. Alejandro, how are you today? Uh, you've already answered that. Alejandro, how about Mexico? What are, are there any wild animals in Mexico? And if so, what are they? Excuse me, repeat. Uh, yeah. Uh, are there, what wild animals do you have in Mexico? And so, what, yeah, what wild, an, right, this question right here, what uh, wild animals do you have in your country? Uh, for example, um, wolf. Mm -hmm. Wolf and a <clears throat> coyote. Uh, coyotes, yes. And, and there's two pronunciations for that word. Uh, I was raised with coyote, and other people, I hear them say coyotes. Excuse me, how do you say? I say coyote. Coyote. Yeah, however, some of my friends um, say coyote. Okay. So, coyotes or coyotes, okay. What else? So, are there any any of the these endangered? Can you think of any endangered species that you cannot kill because there's not enough? <laughs> uh, is other is no father? What is it? No father. Okay, because I, I can't hear you very well. If you could increase your volume. Powder? powder? Don't fire perros de la pradera. Okay. I, I'm sorry, I can't understand. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can help you. Prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. Okay. Prairie dogs. Sorry, I didn't hear. I did. I truly cannot. Couldn't hear you. Okay. Yeah, prairie dogs. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. How about Japan, Ken? What are some wild animals that are in Japan? <clears throat> Ken, can you speak? Oh, he's been having problems all day with that. Okay, in in the U.S., uh, one of the in my area of the U.S. at least, uh, we have a lot of deer, elk, coyotes, and and buffalo. <laughs> and until probably until about um, ten years ago, the buffalo were extinct, or or were endangered. Uh, we only had there were only a few, but now in uh, Montana and Wyoming, which are neighboring states. You can actually eat buffalo, and they are raising buffalo on buffalo farms. And um, there are also elk farms where you can um, go and see that some elk are are getting domesticated as well. So, um, all right, and I think the and we've got some wolves that are endangered. We've got some bears that are endangered. We also have. Um, Eagle, the eagle is also an endangered. In the U.S., if you kill a de an, e an eagle, you could um, face prison time because it is um, our state, it our, our, it's our national bird. <laughs> so, all right. Um, let's, look, let's look at animal similes. Let's complete the common similes below with the following animals. Um, uh, uh, Cornell, could you try number one? Any any idea on that one? Blind. What what does it mean, blind? Blind and unable to see. If you are blind, you cannot see. Uh, I don't know the first one. Okay, and uh, and does anybody know this one? That. But yeah, so bat, is, bl bat, is blind. Really. Yeah, I guess so bat, guess bat. 
Is and and your, your, your guess was correct. It's blind as a bat. Okay. Um, it did, uh, Ismail, can you guess the second one? Uh, as quiet as a uh, mouse? Yes, as quiet as a mouse. Perfect. And Carlos, the third one. Fox. As yes, as, as a fox. Yeah, as cunning as a fox. Aratheli. Um, as fat as a cow. No, another one. No? <laughs> As a pig? Yeah, as fat as a pig. <laughs> we say as fat as a cow and it's really? funny. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> yeah, in English we say as fat as a pig. Um, so, and number five, five um, our Alejandro. Yeah. Can you, can you uh, do number five? A uh, rabbit. As scared as a... Yes, it's correct. As a, as a rabbit, yeah, yes. Rabbit. Yeah. Scared rabbit. yeah, scared as a rabbit. And and then number six, um, oh, Ken is gone again. As awkward as a cow on roller skates. <laughs> that, that, that makes me laugh because I haven't heard that one very often. Um, I have heard it. I've seen it before. <laughs> But can you imagine have, seeing, seeing a cow on roller skates and how they race? It would be like a dog on roller skates. It'd be like, I wouldn't do that to you, baby boy. I wouldn't. So, um, all right. Now let's complete the sentences below with the above similes. Um, so number one, um, Alejandro, can you can you try that one? No. Okay. No worries. You would pass. Okay. All right, Ellie, could you try that one? Number one. Uh, yes. Uh, the computer screen is right in front of you. You must be as blind as a bat if you cannot read the email. As blind as a bat. Okay. Okay. Uh, number two. Carlos, can you do that one? I won't disturb you. I will be as quiet as a mouse. Do you promise? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, number three, um, Ismail. I was as scared as a rabbit when the thief approached me. I was scared as a rabbit, okay. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. And I'm thinking that the other one that might work, I was as cunning as a fox when the thief approached me. So he didn't get anything from me because I was so cunning, but it did. It wasn't that one. Um, number four, C Cornell. Jack knows how to get what he wants. He's uh, as cunning as a fox. Yeah, so he's as cunning as a fox. Okay, number five, um, uh, Cornell, can you try that one? I don't think Sandra is ready for her driving test. She is uh, as scared as a rabbit. Okay. Actually, it's it's a different one. Does anybody know what the, that one would be? Yes. She's as awkward as a cow on roller skates when she yeah. drives. Yeah, so she's as awkward as a cow on roller skates when she drives, So, which is pretty funny. Okay, number six. Does anyone want to do that one? Uh, yes, Oli. If you carry on eating like that, you will become as fat as a pig. Fat. You, so you instead of become, you became, you will become as fat as a pig. You will become. 
he will become as fat as a pig. Okay, so um, do you, uh, RFLE, uh, do you know anyone who, tell, tell us about someone you know who is as cunning as a fox. <laughs> I don't know, sometimes my son is as cunning as a, as a uh, fox because, well, <laughs> he he's like uh, saying what I want to hear <laughs> uh -huh. in order to get her his, his way. His way, yeah. Sometimes, but he, how, how old is he? Is he the little he's one? He's four, the, but I, I mean, he's very nice, and he's giving me hugs and saying, "No, oh, mommy, I love you so much." In order mm -hmm. to get something, maybe. <laughs> uh huh. But if, does he also have you wrapped around his little finger? Have you heard that one before? No, I have, but I think I understand what you mean. Does he have you wrapped around your little finger? That it means he does everything he wants because I... It, it, because you love him so much. It's like, <laughs> so usually, usually girl, little girls, as soon as they uh, are born, will have their dads wrapped around their little finger and their, their dads will just take care of them in every, every respect and, and stuff like that. So... Well, and probably. I think uh, girls are like that with their fathers and uh -huh. boys with their, boys mothers. their mothers. That's yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. So, because I had my dad wrapped around my little finger from the time I was a little, a little, little one. So, uh, Ismail, <laughs> did did your daughter have you wrapped around your little finger, or do you have a daughter? Uh, no, I don't have. Any daughter? Okay. Okay. So, uh, Car Carlos, do you have a daughter? No, no children. No, no children. Okay. All right. So, uh, Ismail, I liked your example. Uh, could you say that about cunning as a fox? Winston Churchill is such a politician as cunning as fox. Mm hmm. So you would say Winston, Winston, Winston Churchill is a politician that is as cunning as a fox. So thank you, Arthelli. Have a good work day. So in fact, it's almost time for all of us to leave. So um, yeah. So um, so yeah. So it looks like we're at the end of the class. So I do want to thank you all for your participation, and I hope you learned some new words and phrases. And uh, uh, and I hope to see you again in another class sometime soon. Thank you. And Cornell, get better. Get yes, plenty of sleep. So get plenty of sleep, and 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 see you in verbling classes. Thank you. Bye, y'all. So bye, bye. Bye.